Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use UI web views in several different ways. So let's get started. Alright, so this tutorial is going to be structured in three different ways. One, I will show you how to just load a website from a web into a web view with Swift and Xcode just straight from a website, so like apple.com, and we're going to load that straight into a web view. Secondly, I'm going to show you how to just import a single line of HTML code. And then lastly, uh, just a full page of HTML code. So let's get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new Xcode project. This will be a single view application. Our product name, I am just going to call this uh, Web View. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click Next and Create. Create. All right, now let's make this a bit bigger and go into our amin.storyboard. So first thing we need to do is just click and drag a web view into our scene like so. And it should grow and fill the whole scene. If not, uh, just click and drag it out to the edges by just clicking and dragging on these white little dots on the edge. All right, now right click or control click and drag from that web view. And we're going to go over to our hierarchy right over here. If you can't see that hierarchy, just open it up just by this little button right down here in the bottom left corner. So again, right click or control click and drag from that UI web view over to, it says view right here. So just click and drag that and it will be say equal widths, equal heights. And so we're gonna say equal widths as a constraint. Then we're going to equal the heights as a constraint. And then we're going to center it vertically and center it horizontally. So this UI web view, no matter what screen size, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, it will all work, pro this web view will work properly on every single size device. So let's get started and l open up our assistant editor. And right click or control click and drag from that web view over to our viewcontroller.swift file that should open up our connection type outlet. And this is going to be the name of our web view. So I'm just going to call this web view and connect. And let's go over to our main dots, our viewcontroller.swift file. And now we're going to load up our, v, our web view, load a website into our web view. Now this is very simple. First thing we need to do is open, is create our URL. So say var URL. So we're creating a variable URL, a variable called URL. You can call it whatever you want. And then this is equal to NS URL, open parentheses. And this is just going to be a string. And inside of the string value, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, we're going to put uh, HTTP colon slash slash colon slash slash. Uh, this is going to be www.architap.com. And again, this will work properly for any website. And also you need to make sure that you have HTTP colon slash slash in front of whatever website you're trying to load or else it will not work properly. Now let's go down here and we want to say web view dot load request and the request that we're loading is an NS URL request and then open quotation open parentheses. This is going to be a URL and our URL will just be the URL that we just created. Add an exclamation point at the end so we can instantiate it inside of this load request. And now, we, if we were to build and run this, we will have our website loading up inside of our web view on our scene perfectly. So now we have architap.com loading up, and there you have it. Now, my website conforms automatically to the screen sizes that you have right here. Although, if you did have a website that didn't really work for mobile, it would just create a square aspect ratio or it, it would fill the entire screen and you would actually be able to scroll from left to right between the whole scene. So that's how that works. And now let's go down here over to our webview.load request. And again, you can see that apple.com will also work in the same fashion. Uh, apple.com now conforms to the whole screen size, so it would actually work just the same as my website just did. So there you have it. And now we're going to go into our HTML code. So just delete whatever we have right there. And we're going to say webview.load HTML string. And we're going to, at first it gives you this little blue selection point, And we're just going to trade that out with open quotation mark, close quotation mark. Our base URL, we're going to say nil. 
and right over here inside of our open quotation mark close quotation mark we're going to add our HTML code so in order for just to do this you just do alligator tips alligator tips and we're gonna call this the body then you can add a bunch of spaces this is where your text will go and then again close the body and then close the HTML so now we have that done and inside of this we can just say hello hello world so now we have that and if we were actually to build and run this right now we will load our HTML string now obviously this is very basic I'm not gonna go into programming with HTML but this is at least going to show you some the basics of how to get HTML inside of your Swift inside of your Swift application. So now we have hello world loading up properly and you can also add things such as h1 and h1 and closing the h1. Now if we were to build and run this now you will see that this is going to give it a header. It's going to make it a bit bigger. So there you have it. Uh, you can change things accordingly if you really want to. I'm not going to show you like I just said but this is the basics. Now, if you wanted to go more in depth and add your own file that you have for, for your website, you can easily do this just by saying uh, webview.load request. All right, now before we get into this, let's go over here up to our top bar right up here, and we're going to go file, new, file. And this is going to be an empty file, either in iOS or OS X, it doesn't really matter empty file and click next our file name I'm just going to call mine HTML uh, HTML code dot HTML now it's important to have this dot HTML in order for this to load properly so it so the system can recognize that this is actually an HTML file now create and now we have our HTML code dot HTML right over here and now we can actually just create our HTML code so now go down here. This will be our body. Or I guess we needed to add the HTML first. So let's close out of HTML. Like so. Open up HTML. And then inside of this we can do H1. Hello world. Like so. And H slash H1. So now we have our HTML code and let's put this inside of our application now. So now go over to your viewcontroller.swift and we want to say webview.loadRequest and this will be an NS URL request. Now you might be a bit confused. This is not a URL, this is a file. So now let's, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a bit confusing at first with me too, but this, it works the same exact way. So this is going to be a URL and then this will be a file file URL with path and then our path will be our NS bundle so our NS bundle is just basically inside of this project that's basically what the bundle is dot main bundle again the whole project NS bundle dot main bundle so now inside of this project we want to find a path for resource so right after main bundle after the parentheses that we add you want to say path for uh, path not spell path for resource and we when you want this one where it has this name and then of type so the name of this will be actually the name of your HTML code the HTML code file that we created and also make sure it's it's case sensitive so you want to make sure that it's HTML code with capital H capital C and then of type and again we in this case we would forget about the period right in between uh, HTML code dot HTML, you would just erase that period. And now we're just going to put that as HTML. So now we're loading this request and also it's going to give you the stop sign error. Now basically what this is saying is you need to instantiate all these things that you're saying. So go ahead and follow those rules and it will work properly again. It wants one right after this little bracket right here and right after this giant bracket right here. So now, th what this is doing, it's creating a URL. It's finding the URL with the path name of our bundle. And again, the bundle is just the whole project. And we're grabbing a pathful resource and we're grabbing the name of the bundle 
uh, or the name of the file that we're trying to locate, and then it's grabbing that and loading it inside of our web view. So now if we were to build and run this, it will load up our HTML code inside of our web view. So there you have it. We have hello world. And you can of course do many other things with this. In fact, let's kind of lo let's load up a website that's actually kind of cool looking. So right up here, uh, go over to Safari. We'll just load up uh, YouTube. So if we were to go to youtube.com, we can go to develop, and we're going to go over to show page source. Now, of course, you would not do this inside of your ap actual application, as this is stealing code. But for tutorial purposes, I find no fault. So there we have it. Now let's just click and drag so we have all of this code inside of our inside of the source code. We can just copy that and then go over to our hello world.swift file and we can go to html code.html and just paste in all that code that we see there. And again, you're gonna get the spinning rainbow of death. And uh, as soon as this is all pasted, let's build and run. This is a it's taking a while. All right, now after that long delay, let's build and run, and it should all build and run properly inside of our application. So again, this is a this is YouTube, so we're not going to get it as perfect as actual YouTube because one, we're not using CSS, we're not using JavaScript, so you're just getting the bare minimum of everything that you have. So that is how you would use. Uh, HTML inside of a, your UI web view or just use a UI web view in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this for me in the future, be sure to subscribe down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.